Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 26th, I believe it is, I think it's 26th, I know it's Saturday, it's all it really matters I guess, so, got up this morning, um, got a few things done, did not sleep real well, had some messed up, twisted up dreams, um, seems like when I'm dealing with some stress in my life, it manifests itself heavily into weird twisted up dreams which i know they say the fact you only dream the last few minutes of the night i think you only remember the last few minutes of your dreams not all the dreams you had but i wake up exhausted when i'm dealing with these shitty dreams and that so definitely um last night was another really bad night for dreams so went ahead got up got a couple things done around here nothing real major did some laundry and whatnot and decided you know what screw it i'm gonna head to des moines i uh, need to go up there and get a haircut need to get some shopping done had to return some stuff uh, was looking for the little Ford Transit, the little tiny Ford Transit Connect um, van, the little cargo van type thing, which was hilarious. I stopped a couple different places, and both of them had no fucking clue what they're talking about. They're selling vehicles. We thought, you sell these things. How can you not know what the hell they are? But they tried to put me in like the full size, like the three quarter ton and one ton version. I'm like, no, I want like the tiny Connect. He goes, Connect has like the seats. And I'm like, I don't think that's true. I'm like, Connect means the little tiny one. And they're like, no, Connect just means seats. And I'm like, who gives a shit? I want the little tiny one. Where the fuck are those at? And he's like, well, I don't think we're having those. And I had to like go across the street and blah, blah, and I had to bring stuff to me and anything that not but i did finally find a spot that actually knew what the hell it was he brought me one over which again i had to set around the waiting room at the showroom there for him to drive across the street get the vehicle bring it back over and he was an, and he's kind of an idiot he didn't make much sense he had to have another salesman drive him across the street because it's i don't know about I don't know, a full, almost a full city block across the road from their parking lot or whatever. So yeah, instead of just jogging over there or walking there and stuff, taking a golf cart, driving his own goddamn car and dropping, leaving the car there, bringing the transit back to me and then having the car to go take the transit back, drive back. No, he had to have, wait for a salesman to get him so a second salesman could drive him over there and drop him off to bring the transit back. And then I'm sitting there the whole time. And the best part is the fact I could have just like, I could have took him over there personally in my own vehicle. And if they don't want to put me in a, one of their own vehicles or driving around, but I could take my own van, van, could have gotten the transit, drove around, dropped it back off, whatever. That didn't didn't make sense to him at all. So once we got done, then he had to wait for another salesman to take him back over there, follow him over there to bring him back, and it just I don't know, made no sense at all to me. So I wasted about forty five minutes to an hour waiting for him to bring back a van that we could have literally walked there in four and a half minutes. So that was um, really interesting. I did drive it. Uh, I like the new two thousand sixteen. They're nice. I was hoping to spend like less money than that and buy like a 2012 2014 something like that and nobody seems to have the little connects in the 2014 range they do have i did find a 2011 but it's pretty high mileage and it's that weird thing it's got a different motor in the 2011 there's a couple of things that are not nearly as nice on them so that right there is kind of a deal but we'll see the big thing i did find out is it is long enough to fit um lay down from the driver's seat back to the back door. So I have room to build myself a custom bed. I'll have to build a custom mattress for it even because it's not as long, a, a twin extra long is what I usually sleep in. Like when the camper and stuff will not fit there. So I gotta build my own custom mattress. That's not really a big deal. So I can buy some good foam. All that's a good thing to know. But the kid's like, oh, it's sticker price pretty much. I'm like, you guys can do better than sticker. Don't act like you can't. So I went ahead and kind of said, hell is it left there? And he also was not listening to me when I said, okay, I can order one of these, right? And he goes, well, yeah, if you want to. And I'm like, okay, what would it take to get it in silver? Over, window deletes and blah blah and it's like well you just get this one this one alerts him like this is fucking white this has got the windows in it i don't want windows i don't want white and he's like well i don't know and he back and forth he goes i don't know i'm guessing at least three months they're made in spain and i'm like so can you do their trade and he goes i don't know we have before but i don't know if we can do their trade for these or not and i'm like can you find out and he goes oh, we, we have before but i don't know if we can i'm like have a great day, and I left. I'm like, clearly you don't want to fucking trade. He kept trying to push this one, like, this will work great for you, right? What else does this thing need? And I'm like, it needs to be silver. It needs to be a window delete. So I'm like, if you guys want to take the windows out and paint it silver, give me the full warranty and deduct that price off, I'll be happy to do that. But he was he didn't understand the whole concept there. So I went ahead and left there a little bit frustrated, but at least I had some ideas. I uh, went by the Nissan dealership their fleet part and looked around and seen the Nissan's got the vans, the minivan type things too, with the cargo vans. And they have a Ford Transit there. I called the number on the door, said the door's not the door's locked, call this number, talk to Alan or whatever, and he can come over and meet with you, blah blah. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck? But it's a fleet, it's their commercial side of the business. They don't get a lot of walk in traffic, I understand. But I called the number and that was like, I don't know, one thirty, two o'clock this afternoon. Haven't heard from him yet and it's now going on midnight and still haven't heard from the dude. So definitely fun, fun thing there. I was gonna go run um, long up in Des Moines, I was gonna run six 10 miles a day, kind of how I felt, how my shoulder was doing. Uh, by the time I got th the things I had to get done in Des Moines done, um, 
it was raining. It was cold rain. It was a nasty cold rain, so I did not feel like dicking with it. So I said to hell with it. Um, just went ahead and called it a night. I spent quite a bit of time at Des Moines, but not a lot. Spent an hour and a half plus in a pet smart, just feeling playing with Bruce and having a great time and all that stuff. It was a fun time there. So from there, headed home. Um, Stopped by CC's Pizza. I haven't eaten at CC's in a couple, maybe three years now. It's been a while. And most everybody I'm with never wants to eat CC's because it's kind of gross food. But I've been craving it for a while, so I ate there and it was not that great. But it's definitely one of the things i got to eat at every couple years. Just kind of remind myself of why I don't eat there. But it wasn't bad. Um, headed on home. Uneventful trip. Um, all, all I had another thing. I took back some stuff to Walmart and I returned a bunch of items. It was like $50. It was $49.45 less than what... Forty nine forty five less than what I was supposed to get back. And I'm like, this ain't right. She goes, well, what are you going to do about it? I'm like, we're going to fix this. So it took me 45 minutes. I fought with them over 45 minutes to get back my 50 bucks extra. And it took six people to get it fixed. It was a pain in the ass. But I finally get it all figured out. It's all done. I got my money back, so I'm good to go. And then it dawned me, I think what I'm going to do is I bought it at one store, returned it at the other store. I am going to buy the exact same items, exact same way, everything. I'm going to take it back and see if they try and short me $49 again. Because that does happen, I'll know it's some kind of weird glitch in the system, not just a one-time fuck-up. So that's my plan. I think I'll probably do that sometime next week and see how that goes. So that's pretty much where I'm at for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.